Pisces 5, Pisces 4, do you copy? Pisces 4, Pisces 5, Roger. The Pisces 5 is a deep diving, human occupied submersible and weighs 13 tons and um, has an operating depth of 6,500 feet. Terry Kirby is the operations manager and the submersible pilot for the Hawaii Undersea Research Lab. He's been piloting submarines for over 30 years. All the years I've been piloting, I think the finding some of the, the deep maritime heritage wreck sites, the really historic sites, has always been a thrill. I think uh, the one program and project and series of dives that stands out more than any of them was a five month we spent diving on 13 active volcanoes in uh, Kermadex between Samoa and New Zealand. Every dive was just pure exploration. Every dive was something totally unexpected and very dynamic and active terrain uh, with very unique animals. Hydrothermal vents, the chimneys we encountered like black smokers, white smokers, chimneys that were 40 feet high, uh, phase separation bubbles blasting out of the bottom from a heat source in the volcano. There was such diversity from volcano to volcano. It was just an incredible series of dives. It was a, a thrill that um, I would gladly repeat any time. Unfortunately for Terry, operating a submersible is very expensive. With shrinking budgets for science and deep sea exploration, the Hawaii Undersea Research Lab was facing extinction if they didn't achieve significant cost cuts. To save the necessary money, Terry and his team reactivated a technology that had been dormant for 17 years. The LRT-30A is a submersible launch and recovery platform. LRT stands for Launch Recovery Transport. It's basically a barge that carries the submarine out to the dive site. But what makes the LRT unique is that the entire barge, along with the submarine, is submerged by a team of divers who then release and launch the submarine underwater. As complicated as this operation is, it allows the submersible to be deployed without the need for a large and expensive research vessel that has a crane that can lift the submarine in and out of the water. The LRT can be towed behind something as small as a commercial tugboat, which is available at a much cheaper price than a large research vessel. Terry's team had an LRT that was in use up until 1996 when they pulled it out of the water. Once we stopped LRT operations and moved operations onto a 200-foot ship, our main support ship, the LRT was laid up out on the Marine Center, out on the North 40, with weeds growing around it for 17 years. We held on to it and retained the, the, the possibility of having to reactivate it if we needed to, but we were mainly doing operations off the ship. With the major budget cutbacks and, uh, and, and the cancellations of programs, um, it became less and less likely that there would be funding to continue to do ship operations. But because um, we had this other option, we began to reactivate it. This summer, Terry's team got the LRT back in the water, but that was only the first part of the challenge. This is the only LRT in operation in the entire world, and no one on the team except Terry had any experience operating an LRT. We had to train a whole new crew, and it's a very unique operation because uh, an LRT pilot has to be able to maintain a stable mid-water hover um, on soft ballast, which is sort of like your scuba BC. So you can you know how complex that can be to try and control a bubble between your your buoyancy, think on your scuba BC. But imagine a 50-foot platform sitting in a pilot seat trying to control that in mid-water while a submarine is landing on it and taking off. Working seven days a week for the last two months, 
Terry and his team have perfected their craft. The LRT is now in full operation and is supporting science dives from the Pisces 5 submersible. They invited our camera crew to come along and film the underwater launch and recovery of the submarine. And in part two, we take you there. <laughs>